Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering, passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a solid oxidized fuel cell connected to a three-phase electrical power system. The system consists of solid oxidized fuel cell, which is connected to a three-phase infinite bias through a IGBT inverter. The inverter uses asterisk switching and control active power by manipulating of a direct axis current while holding reactive power at zero VAR. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment, and like this video. Here we have our solid oxidized fuel cell with its parameters. If what they are oxygen, water, and hydrogen, the parameters to supply that scope. If our DC voltage is our capacitance, if our inverter, we are using universal bridge in these parameters. Here we have our three phase transformers. Yes, here are the parameters. Here we have our three phase VI measurement. Here we have our three phase series IELTS branch, and you have another three phase VI measurement. And here we have our infinity bars. This way is still is we are using resistors if our power from from VABC to VAB that's the power here there we have our PV power bars to measure the bar the, the power VABC bars. I have a power bars which goes to selector. Then you have our power reference that is just a step in time. We have our sum. We have our active power control. Our PLs, PLL, then here we have our DQO to ABC transformers box, and here our unit delay is the, the current of the bus, the, A, the, the current of ABC, and then here we have our relays for the six IGBT. And from there it goes to our inverter. I think everything is fine now. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to our channel, share our content, comment and like this video. These are the measurements.
Now let's run our model. Here is our power grid and see the behavior of our system. Let's check our result. This is VDC uh, volt, DC voltage and DC current. Here we have our voltage, physiologic voltage, via logic from the from the sorry from the fuel cell, and you have the bus and the bus current. Let's just maximize it. There is a volt. Yeah. And here we have our fuzzy logic voltage and the terminal volt voltage just see the input water oxygen and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our contents comment and like this video